Oh, your hair drier than the Sahara. I'm sorry, I said it. Hi guys, it's me, Ray, from raytalks.co.uk and welcome to another video of mine. Guys, before we get started, I'm gonna need you to do a couple of things. I'm gonna need you to uh, hit the subscribe button and press the bell, ding a ling a ling so you can keep updated of any time I upload a video. Guys, today we are going to be talking about reasons why your hair is not growing. Sister girl, have you seen this? Girl, this isn't, this isn't a wig, y'all. You might see some dirt in my hair, but guys, this is what we're working with. Bear in mind, I have to, um, I've just taken out my hair out of some plaits and I need to like comb and remove the shed hair but <laughs> sister girl you see this growth I want all of y'all to really hit your growth potential so this video is for those of you who are struggling with maintaining hair growth let us jump why did I give you a dirty look I'm sorry let us jump into this video this is in no particular order by the way the first reason why your hair is not growing Sister, I'm about to pull some of your edges, and I'm sorry, but I gotta, I gotta speak my truth. Hello, guys, it's poor diet. I said it. I said what I said. I said it, guys. You know, in the Bible, God does actually talk about the importance of diet. In Genesis 129, he talks about how he's giving us every herb-bearing seed. So basically, like, fruit. For us to eat and then after the fall of man he gives us vegetables so basically the original diet for man was fruits and veggies and some of us are like why is it my hair growing but the last time we ate anything anything from the ground was like pre-covid <laughs> was i don't know a long time ago and we should honestly try and incorporate more vegetables vegetables more fruits more water drink more water guys into your hair regime because you will see a drastic change in your hair health so the first one is poor diet i ain't telling you to be vegan and that but just eat more greens drink more water yes number two doing your hair when you are tired oh my goodness i don't know what it is when you're tired you don't really want to do anything you know what you want to do sleep you want to sleep well you don't have time <laughs> to do anything to your hair so you trying to do your hair when you're tired you are probably more likely to rip through your hair there's going to be um so many examples of impatience and horribleness happening because of all in the name of tiredness so i'm gonna need you to take a nap sleep wake up and then be in a better place to do your hair that's probably why your hair's not growing. You're doing your hair when you're tired, so it doesn't allow you to best manage your hair. Take a nap, drink some water, take a nap, boom. Number three, guys, uh, this one is <laughs> the one I've learned, like bad technique. Your hair ain't growing, sis, because your technique is not the best. They tell you working sections to avoid tangles and further matting, you're working in one big section. They tell you moisturize your hair, you just don't moisturize it. They talk about the importance of deep conditioning, you just shampoo your hair and you, you carry your leg and you go about your day. Baby girl, there is a way that seems right to a man. But that way that seems right, what does a little destruction? And that's what's happening to some of our hair. Oh, it seems fine, I saw so and so doing it. No, 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 no. That technique might work for them, but that technique is bad for your hair. So bad technique is one of the reasons probably why your hair is not growing. I'm sorry. I love y'all. I really do. And I just, I just want to help y'all. Number four. Girl. Girl. Not protecting your hair at night. Can we say that again? Not protecting your hair at night. Luckily for me, I live with my sister Rhoda and some of you who have been on this channel long enough you might just hear me say Rhoda 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 hey Rhoda if you're watching and she is literally the satin bonnet police if I wake up and Rhoda's like girl your edges like my my bonnet is like here and you can see my edges and my bonnet is not on properly Rhoda's gonna check me but fortunately for me I have a plethora of bonnets check me out check me out boom bam bam bop
Bada bop boom. Pow. Oh! And I also have a satin pillowcase. And these items you can get on thenaturalhairtoolkit.com. So you need to protect your hair with the right material. Satin and silk cover your hair because those cotton sheets are drying and they will cause breakage and this would impede your hair growth. I said it. Number five, not protective styling. <laughs> Guys, if you have hair like mine, that type four hair, that wood hair, that kinky coily hair, you hear me? My, my, um, don't worry about my Caribbean accent, it's terrible. We need to protect our hair. We need to protect it. And protecting your hair doesn't mean just wearing a wig. You can do different things. I don't wear um, wigs and weaves. If you know that, I just don't. So I tend to protect my hair with my real hair. So I might put it in twists, in plaits. You can do buns. You can do a variation of updos. The trick is to keep your edges protected. So something like this, if I had my hair like completely back, that's not protective style. But if I pinned, folded my hair on itself, that's a protective style because my ends, girl, are protected. You hear me? Yo. Number six. Six. Over manipulation. I'm gonna need you to put your, put your, oh yeah, you, put your hand down. Put your hand down. Yes, yeah, so you. Put your hand down. Put your hand down. Stop trying to be touching up your hair and that. Don't be doing that, them things there to your hair and that. You don't like that. Don't do it. Over manipulation. Monday, you're wearing. Uh, you have braids. Tuesday, you are taking the braids out. Wednesday, you have washed the hair. Thursday, you are putting another braid. Friday, you have taken the braid out. Sabbath, la rest. After Sabbath, you say you want to put up to. Sunday, you want to say you want to put down to. Guys, left them. Left the air alone. Left it. Left it. You hear me? Leave the hair alone. Stop over manipulating your hair because this causes breakage that will result in stunted growth. Basically, there's like a theme here. Minimize your the likelihood of breakage and you can see growth. Boom. Seven, seven, seven. Lack of moisture. Girl, your hair drier than the Sahara. I'm sorry. I said it. Girl, we've been there. We gotta say it, girl. Your hair ain't growing or doesn't seem to be growing because your hair dry. Dry, really dry. You need to just moisturize it. Put some moisturization, hydration in that hair. Wash your hair, girl. Moisturize and seal. If you want more videos where I outline these things in more detail, leave a comment below. Number hit it. Hit it, it, it. So you've got over manipulation in number six, I said, and number eight is neglecting the hair. Some of you treat your your hair like a unloved stepchild. You just abandon it. You just do your thing. Don't even check for her. Don't even, don't even check if she's doing all right. Don't check if she needs to eat, if she needs moisture, if she needs to be washed, if she needs to be protected. You just neglect that weave, your hair. Sometimes I call my hair a weave banner. Guys, love your hair. Have a set day whereby you decide, you know what, this is going to be my spa day. I know Kimmy Tube, love her channel. She's an OG natural. She talks about natural hair spa day. So have a spa day, you know, a day we're going to pamper your hair, you know, so you don't neglect her. You're like, my hair's not growing. Your hair's not growing. When was the last time you did something to your hair? Hmm? I'm sorry. Number nine, breakage. Breakage! I've already admitted to this. I've already alluded to this already. The hair is not growing because your hair is breaking. You know what? Your hair is actually growing. Your hair is actually growing. But the issue is you are not preserving the length that grows. And that a lot of the time is because of the things I've listed and because of breakage. So you're not going to need to mitigate English. Breakage from your hair regime. Over manipulation causes breakage. Lack of moisture causes breakage and uh, not protecting your hair causes breakage and some of the other things I've mentioned below. Uh, 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 ten. Lazy. You are too lazy. You don't have a desire to do anything to your hair. You don't want to wash it. You don't want to comb it. You don't want to detangle it. You just be there shilling. You know, natural hair, the work you put in a lot of the time, not all the time, the work you put in is the work you get. So I'm gonna need you to put more work in, girl. Stop being lazy. Pick a spa day. My accent changed so many times in this video. 
But that brings us to the end of the video. Guys, let me know what you think. Share in the comments down below things you think are reasons why hair is breaking not growing not why aren't why isn't your hair growing girl also medi medical reasons that's like a bonus tip medical re issues reasons um but yeah thank you so much for watching guys have a good day make sure you subscribe and don't forget to tell one friend have a good day Ray.